My name is Faith Nkatha Gitonga, digital transformation and fintech expert is how I like to describe myself. I looked at how the world was going, the current trends, and I was like, wow, the world is going digital, tech is taking over, and I wanted to be part of it. Women being represented in the tech, I look at it two ways. I think around 2018, 2019, it stood at around 18% or thereabout, and it's gone up to around 28% globally. And I think the shift should not only be at the top, which is what I think a lot of the activists are looking at. I think the shift should be, you know, from the bottom up. So if we're looking at the number of engineers, you know, how many are women? If I'm thinking about the guys handling product and innovation, how many are women? We need more women in tech. And you know, this question is usually so difficult for me to answer because I'm raising three boys at home. But why I think it's important for us to have more women, and I think in tech, in government, in, in every space is because women, A, think very different from men. So it's a challenge both ways. Yes, let's push to have more women in this industry, but let them also sit proper on that table when they get the chance and let their voice be heard as well. Look at how statistics show that up to almost 60% of women, when it gets to management, they don't go up. Why? Because of the stereotype of, you know, you can't be a mother and married and, you know, handling all these responsibilities and be a leader. But where that does that problem stem from? I think it's because this world is patriarchal. But what I'm trying to say is that let's make our workplaces comfortable. Let's make policies a bit more comfortable. So then that way we can support women to continue growing, just like their male counterparts in every season. I know it, this will haunt me when I say it, but I'll say it anyway. One of the things that I'm, I'm in the process of doing, I'm writing a book, and you know, to just see if it's possible to break that glass ceiling and nothing else breaks. So I'm in the process of writing that, and it's my way of giving back because in my entire career journey I got into leadership so young I was so clueless and I didn't know who to turn to or where to go you know so the book is hopefully going to help me do that the other thing I do I do a lot of mentorship so mentorship doesn't have to be I don't know deep and I don't know insightful and all those things it could be simple things like that that you know are mistakes that we've made and I don't want to have somebody else make them. So mentorship has been very big for me. And I do those sort of circles and they've really helped uh, in that way. There's a lady called Jane Wine. She's the CIO for Standard Chattered. I met her when I joined the tech space. Why I, I speak about her is because she didn't study tech. And for me, I think that's inspiration for any woman. And to just see her be able to just impact lives and an entire organization, you know, without like having to go to school fast, which is the normal stereotype, I think is fantastic. When I left banking and, and joined Oracle, I, I remember being so scared and getting into this whole new industry. Nobody knows faith in the tech industry. And I also don't know anything to do with this tech apart from a CPU, a mouse and, you know. And that's why I say every season in our life is a block representing something. And for me, I think Oracle was my learning. It's a challenge to any woman out there. You know, it doesn't matter where you started, you know. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, seated there in your desk and you're like, this is not the job I wanted to be in, you know. It's okay. Now you can go back to school for it. You can do distance learning for it. You can upskill via YouTube, you know, and just learn properly and get experience in it. And don't fear to start. And I keep saying everything we want to be and the greatest achievements we have are standing on the other side of fear. You know, so put that in the back burner, put fear on the back burner and just go for it. And then use your strengths to just, you know, pivot to where you need to be. So that's what I'll tell my younger self or any African woman who's, yeah, thinking of getting into the tech space. <laughs>